In this video I'm going to show you how to mask text in Lightburn and at the moment you can see on the screen I've got an image so this is a JPEG image that I've imported and when you import images they come up as an image layer as you can see here and I've also created some text so I just clicked on the text option here and clicked on the screen and just typed in the, the letter A there. So what I want to do is the first thing I want to do is turn this A into a tool layer because at the moment you can see it's a line so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to come down here and you see these two options T1 and T2 so I'm going to click on T1 doesn't matter which one you do and as soon as I do that you can see it changes to orange and that layer now becomes a tool layer so all I really need to do now is move this over onto my image and then highlight everything so I'm clicking from the right to do that and then I'm going to right click and come down and you see this apply master image option so I just click there and you can see how that appears now so we can change this up a bit if we want by, by moving around the background you can see the background there is non-destructive so you can do what you like with it you can move it around you can make it bigger so I can drag it from the corner there to make it bigger make it smaller and you can also click on the orange outline of the A if I click there I can also resize that as well you can see there so you can make changes as you go now you can take a look to see what this will look like by coming up to preview and you can see there if I drag this back and forward basically it's just going to engrave all that background there now you'll notice that there is no outline around the A so if you want an outline if you want to perhaps cut this I'll just click out of there what you need to do is come back click on the orange outline of the A and you can see it's a tool layer now but if we come down and select one of the other colors here you can see now it changes to a line layer and that now will cut or depending on your settings of course you can make it engrave if you have lighter settings but basically it's going to create an outline around this A so I'll come up to preview and you can see that you can see that there all right but what if you want to create the inverse of this so I'm just going to undo this okay so now I'm back at the start there and now I want to just click back on the A again and create a tool layer for it and now I want to create a rectangle around it so I'm just going to move my image out of the way come over to the rectangle tool here and I'm going to draw a rectangle around it or a square whatever shape you want you could also use potentially the um, circles here whatever you like now if you want to maintain the size of your image for this rectangle here you'd probably want to go and create a rectangle just slightly larger than this image here but I'm going to go with this sort of size now I'm going to click on the select tool and I'm going to highlight both of them so I'm click and drag from the right and then I'm going to come up and center so this is that option here so everything's nicely centered now while they're still both selected I'm going to right click and group them okay so that's now nicely grouped I'll bring my image back in and now back to here and I'm going to drag it over onto my image and you might want to center it at this point so I'm just going to highlight everything and click on that option again at the top so that it centers vertically and horizontally okay so everything's aligned now and everything's still all selected so make sure it's selected before you do this so I'm going to right click and I'm going to come down to apply master image again and select there and there you go so what happens here now is the background is maintained so that's going to engrave and nothing will happen to the letter A so you just get that nice look of where the A is not showing but the background is and again you can move these around drag them out bigger smaller and we can see how this is going to look there you go so the A is not going to engrave but everything around it will as you can see there now again if you want outlines around the A and the and the outside there just come in and click on the orange or on the outside doesn't matter where so as long as it's selected the orange outline and again you're changing it from a tool layer to a regular layer so we come down and click on the red and that's now a line so if we come back here you can see there now you've got the outline around the A and around the outside of the shape okay so that's it so thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up it does help the channel and subscribe for more videos like this we've got plenty on the channel now